and welcome to another Glastonbury Gabriel video. This time you find me in deepest, darkest, mysterious Somerset. Why am I here, I hear you ask? Good question. The answer lies over there. Well, we're here with the amazing John Minshew again. John, what have you been up to? Hi, Gabriel. Um, well, this is the latest commission. It's a, a camper van that's been kitted out inside to a really high spec for a family to go away on holidays and to travel. And they wanted to take a little piece of Somerset with them wherever they went. So I've done a 360 landscape of Glastonbury tour on both sides, so one evening, one kind of afternoon and it goes all the way around the van. It does, and we'll, we'll have a look around it in a minute. What an amazing thing. I mean, we all love and know your work, but I've never seen it on a vehicle before. I have done vehicles before. I did um, the back panels of a uh, camper van, just the two window panels recently, mm. but uh, this is the first time I've done a whole vehicle like this. And um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Let's take a walk around. So who, who was it built for? Um, well, it's a, a guy who contacted me off Facebook and he saw my stuff that I publish and he had this idea of doing up his van and just phoned me up and asked me if I would do it for him. Oh, wow. I bet he's glad you made that phone call. I think it? he's very happy. Yeah, I think no, he's, he's very, pleased. Oh, yeah. I would be very happy. Wow, it's impressive. So what's his name? We'll name check him. His name is John. John. He couldn't be with us, ladies and gentlemen, because he had one too many chicken curries, I think, and he's suffering the aftermath. We won't go into details, but he really wanted to be here, and I would like to thank him for inviting me down to video his rather wonderful van. So that's an amazing piece of artwork. Absolutely. Did you do the one in the window as well? That's a, uh, womble. No. That's a womble, isn't it? I can't quite see. Is it a hedgehog? Is it a hedgehog or a womble or something like that? So take me through the design on this side because it's very clever, the tools at the back on both sides, so... Yeah, that's right. I mean, I had to optimise the, the most of the panel space where there wasn't windows. So I decided to use the tour to fill that space and then to draw it down into the rest of the landscape Clever. and use the horizon line, which is roughly eye height, eye mm. level, and take it all the way around the, the body at that level. I can see some birds on this side and I believe there's a few more animals residing yeah, on the truck. Yeah, that's right. I put a, a few birds in because you know, I love the, the local wildlife of Somerset. So there's a peregrine falcon, which is uh, one of the birds that's making a stronghold here in Somerset. I think they've we got one on the church. That's right, yeah. yeah. We've got so one on the church. Put the peregrine falcon in. There's a barn owl here. I like barn owls. Yeah, I mean, barn owls are always kind of um, part of the Somerset landscape, aren't they? Oh, they are. One followed me. I was cycling down one of those very long straight roads and one flew overhead. And I, he couldn't have been more than about, I don't know, 10 feet over me. And he just kept going, kept going, kept going. And then about 100 yards in front, he just suddenly did a sharp left-hand turn. He didn't stop, just went doom, doom, and then looked back at me as he flew away. It's amazing. I enjoyed that. Gorgeous, <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing. So let's have a look. Let's go around to the yeah. back. So how long did this one take to do, John? It took six days from start to finish. Six days, and the paints you used this time are? These are oil paints, normal artist's oil paints. Okay. So the resulting finish would need a lacquer to protect it, wouldn't it? It will do, yeah. Once it's dried off properly, we're going to give it a three coats of two-part catalyzing lacquer. A friend of mine mm. do that, yeah. Okay. And so at the back, this is the view. Yeah, this, this is, is a, Whitley. So this is a view where you're imagining the tour on your left and you're standing in the field that looks over Chalice Hill. Yes. So that is actually Chalice Hill and then you can just see the uh, coast of Exmoor and... I know um, that view. And then across towards like the uh, the coast. And of course, if you if you live locally, you would know that down here is the tour. It's, it's Glastonbury. It's Glastonbury. Just down That's there, right. you, you'd be it's looking... exactly the other side of the hill there. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, I live down here somewhere. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing! I like that view, and I like the fact you've deglastonbury it. It's kind of it's just pre-human habitation. It's, there are fields and all the rest of it, but just not any just not any built-up stuff. Buildings. 
and now we come around the corner and it's a bit later in the day isn't it yeah this is more an after, uh, early evening view so um, I've got a little bit more colour in the sky, it's more slightly more sunsetty, and there's more of a shadow and a bluey misty haze to the landscape. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And also the client's two uh, pet dogs he asked me to put in there. Yes, and they are called? They are called Lulu and Poppy? With Lulu on the left? Yes, Lulu's on the left. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, we're now looking kind of southwest across the tour, aren't well, we? Yeah, this is, it's kind of a north and south view. So this mm. is standing in the north, looking to the south. Yeah. So you see the coast to your right to the west. Yeah. The other way, it's looking, looking from the south to the north. And I've actually made the, the trees and the fields around the tour quite accurate in terms of representing the north and the south sides. Absolutely fantastic, I love this. There is a bit of artistic license obviously because oh, as, you move, <laughs> as you move around it, it would be impossible to keep it because each side is kind of inverts because yeah. you're looking through it rather mm -hmm. than on this surface. So when you come to an external corner, it's the opposite of what you would see in reality. So basically I've had to kind of um, just cheat a little bit, but it just makes it blend around well. These guys are going to get lots of uh, jealous looks wherever they go in this, aren't they? Well, I hope they will get a lot of um, happy looks because I think a lot of people will just smile when they see it. I think they will because everybody will know what it is. I mean, that's Glastonbury, isn't it? There's yeah, no yeah. No way that could be mistaken for anywhere else. Yeah, I've tried to create a sort of a, a typical central Somerset levels landscape that even though it's not 100% topologically accurate, mm -hmm. it represents and gives you the feel of Somerset. And the front, what, what have we got at the front? Well, the front is a view as if you were looking again to the west. So you've got a west view at the back and a west view at the front. Uh -huh. That was the only way I could make it work because it both came down to the coast on both sides. Uh, so I, I had to really keep it a coastal scene on the, on the end. So this is again, if you're hovering over Chalice Hill, so you're a little bit further on from the back view mm -hmm. and you're just looking over the levels out towards Burnham and towards yeah, straight the out. Bristol Channel. Yeah, yeah. out across, Burn like you say, Burnham High Bridge out that way. And that's right. And that's uh, to the left over there, that's... To the left over there, that's... Um, what's that called? The bit sticking bring up? Down? Bring Down. Yeah, Bring Down, is it? Or is, is that the hill? It's the other one, isn't it? Yeah, the other one, I can't remember. <laughs> I cycle past it loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. And obviously the famous Mercedes-Benz uh, shrine in the middle of it. Really. <laughs> it's been there since Paleolithic times. Well, John did actually say I could paint over it if I wanted to, but I just thought it adds a little bit of a... Yes, a, a nuance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Well, that's fantastic. And then we come round again, and there we are, back where we started. John, that is actually fantastic, buddy. Um, I wonder what my mini would look like painted up. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. But anyway, so if, if you want John to um, maybe redecorate your vehicle for you, or maybe you've got a wall or, or something, he's a very busy man now, as you can you can see why, just looking at the truck. But he is a very busy man, but I'm sure he can find a slot somewhere. So drop me a line and I'll, I'll forward it on to, to young Jonathan here and uh, you can have a chat with him directly. But for now, what's next? Well, I'm working on another mural in town, a private commission. It's um, a kind of a, a, another Somerset landscape, but it includes the, uh, the client's pets and some cows and some sheep and some horses and, you know. But it's, all, it's tailored to that person's particular, you know, sort of... Mm. Anything public coming up? Um, yeah, the, in the middle of the summer, I should be doing the pub out at the Sheppey, the Sheppey Inn. So that's quite a big job, but they're just finishing painting and rendering up the surfaces where it needs it, and then mm. I'll be working on that. So the, again, this is, as I understand, this is on the scale of your North Road Street. It'll wall, probably be bigger in terms of the length oh, of it. Oh, something to look forward to. It's quite a long facade, the Sheppey. Yeah, it is. It goes it on a bit, yeah, yeah. And of course, you've got the beautiful levels all around you. You're taking right. inspiration from I that. I exactly am, yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's going to be, be a, like a wetlands level of landscape. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You hear it first here on Glastonbury Gabriel. Well, John, it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for bringing me out. Thanks and, for coming down. And thank you. And thank you to the owner of this lovely van. I tell you what, the smile on his face when he drives off in this. I'd love to be here to film it. I really would. But for now, that's all. We'll see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.